now are you the greeter you the greeter hi cat wants to sell them for a dollar now we can sell you Morning. Good morning. Just uh, one through uh, sand wedge. Okay. One and two. I never hit that well, but I never even used the one or the two lines. Okay. I owe you two bucks for this. Okay. Are you selling your tiger head? Uh, actually, we're selling the whole suit. We have $20. Good. I'll let it go for $10. It's, it's a, a professional suit. You should see him. Holy cow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did you get that? I wanted a bet. Did you really? <laughs> what was the bet? I don't even remember. It was oh, my bet. God. That's <laughs> funny. Mm-hmm. So the nose is starting to come a little loose, so I'm just going to that back on. That is too cool. Mm -hmm. That would scare the crap out of my kids, so I better not get it. Are you selling your little alien guy? We are. Two oh, bucks. Yeah. Two bucks. He just hadn't made it outside. Oh, yet. that is cool. I got to buy that for two bucks. Yeah. yeah. We used to live in Chicago. We oh, yeah? Big bulls. Mm -hmm. Nice. I remember as a kid going to Kings Island okay. and winning these things, playing the games. Is that right? I'm guessing yeah. that's maybe where this came from. Hmm. Nanco. Um, if I got your two iron sets, would you do 40 bucks for the pair? How about 50 bucks for the pair? That's a deal. All right. Let me set this down. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. Morning. Good. good about yourself? Very good. Dog's not for sale. No. Are you the greeter? You the greeter? Hi. Cat wants to sell them for a dollar. <laughs> Now we can sell you. Anything in particular you're looking for? Something I can't live without. <laughs> Those are all battery operated. What are you asking on them? Um, three bucks a piece. All right, you got, let's see, three. The, Six of them. Uh, the truck's actually the same thing. This is too? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, seven's 21 bucks? Yeah, actually for 25 bucks, you get the whole set. 25, like with the ramps and everything? Yeah, and the logs. <laughs> Here's the spare tires. Oh, cool. And... This was in here, so I have a feeling this is the cover plate for one of them. Okay. But here's logs for them to climb over to. Oh, neat. Yeah, the packing noodles. I'll leave this in here in case uh, one's missing the. Okay. Cover. So these are part of it too, huh? Oh yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they're stomper set. They're from our generation. Right. There you go, sir. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll keep looking around. I'll probably find something else. Yeah, uh, I got pivot pull too coming out. I think we're looking for Basically, came to the surface with what I could get out. Yeah. I'm going to take your Myrtle Skittles. Okay. Right. I've got a three year old and a six year old, and I think they'd have a ball playing that. Yeah, they would. Not the pivot pull, huh? I think I'll pass on that. I think they'll like this more. Plus, I played this as a kid, so it'll just be more nostalgic for me. Cheddar cheese. Yeah. What are you asking you on what? this guy? Huh? What are you asking on this guy? Five bucks. Yeah, I'll take it for five. Thank you, sir.
No problem. Appreciate it, man. Hey guys, I just want to take a quick break to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. So I've been making YouTube videos for over five years now, and I've always used iMovie to edit those videos. iMovie can be pretty limiting at times, and I know there's a lot more uh, fancy and just better edits that can be done. My wife has a YouTube channel as well, and she uses Final Cut Pro, so I thought I would take a class on Final Cut Pro and just kind of sharpen my editing skills a little bit. If you guys aren't familiar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning something new. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. I took the course Video Editing with Final Cut Pro X from Ali Abdal, uh, from beginner to YouTuber, and I really liked the way he broke everything down uh, into detail, went into each specific task and really made it understandable for somebody like me who knows nothing about Final Cut Pro. I like how we also changed things up and would switch screens and would keep talking to you the whole time. Uh, definitely kept my attention the whole time while I was taking the class. First 1,000 of my viewers to sign up through my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna buy your two boxes of uh, sports stuff. There was. I think I'm just gonna buy two of them for now. Are you wanting 20 on the third one too? Uh, I got this one and this one. Yeah. Is that one 20? Give me, give me ten bucks for it. Ten bucks. You can I didn't even look what all's in here. Yeah, sure. Ten bucks. What the heck? You can have these. Uh... Oh, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right. Morning. I'm going to get your jersey. Thank you. How long have you had that? Uh, it's, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Have a good sale. Thank you. That is very much fun. Um, I'm gonna buy your TV. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You don't have the remote for it by chance, do you? It's Patty's. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe. No worries. Yeah. Just thought I'd ask. <laughs> have a good day. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys, I am back at the shop. I went to a handful of sales today and found some incredible stuff. This might be my best garage sale day so far of the year. I got everything pulled out. I'm going to show you what I bought. First sale of the day, I got this Sterling Candelier. This is just like a plastic light-up Christmas display. I had the box, which is pretty rare to find. Unfortunately, the box has got some damage, but 
I still think it's going to sell. I only paid two bucks for it. There's even like bonus lights in there. And this was going right around 25, 30 bucks. Also at that sale, I picked up this alien Michael Jordan, unlicensed <laughs> Michael Jordan. This was likely at um, like an amusement park. It caught my eye because when I was a kid going to Kings Island, playing games, trying to win, you know, different prizes and stuff, there was aliens everywhere. The 90s were crazy about aliens. So the fact that there was an alien wearing a Michael Jordan jersey, I had to get this. It was $2.00. Um, I saw sold comps for smaller ones, like 8 and 11 inches for around like 20 to 30 bucks. This one is huge. I mean, it's got to be about 20 inches long, and I think I might just keep it. It's really cool. I could hang him, you know, from the ceiling because he's got a little thing right here. So he might just be like the shop mascot. I also got some golf clubs at that sale. Some Ben Hogan Edge Forged GS irons. This set is, I think it's two through wedge, and I'll give you guys a little... Um, trivia anecdote here when you're buying golf clubs um the wedge will always say p for a pitching wedge ben hogan called the uh, pitching wedge the equalizer basically like if you couldn't drive as far as other guys but you could be really accurate with your your wedge it could kind of you know equalize the playing ground a little bit that's why he called it the equalizer so his wedges say e instead of p so when you see an e that's what that is also bought these tommy armor irons these are graphite shaft uh it is t100 uh, they're pretty ugly looking, to be honest, and they're older, but they have some value. I paid uh, $50 for both sets. So I've got $25 into each one. These are going uh, right around $80 to $90. Bucks, and the Ben Hogan's are going closer to $100. And they're in pretty good shape, too. Um, I'll just give them a good cleaning, and I think they'll sell pretty well. I picked up this Myrtle Skittles game. This is pretty old. If I had to guess, I'd say 50s or 60s. I played this when I was a kid, and it was my grandma's. And I just thought it would be so fun for my kids to play it too. These aren't super valuable. They're worth maybe 40 bucks or so. I'm just going to play with my kids and let them have fun with it. And when they're done with it, maybe, you know, I'll try to sell them on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. I love how there's still the um, Christmas wrapping paper from like when this was originally gifted. Too cool. At that same sale, I got this skateboard. The guy was pulling out all kinds of cool stuff. This is an old Makaha Cheddar Cheese skateboard. I've never seen that brand before. I don't think they're super valuable. I saw one sell for around 25 bucks, so I'll probably try to get 25, 30 dollars for this one. Um, I paid five bucks for that. Also at that sale, I had my best find of the day. So these are all old stomper cars. If you guys have never seen stomper cars, these are super highly collectible. Uh, they say shaper and then they say stomper down there. And um, these are battery operated. So you lift the top off and you put a battery in there, and then when you hit this lever, they take off. He had six trucks and the semi. He was asking like $3 a piece, and then he had the accessories and stuff. And he was like, how about you just make it 25 bucks for all of it? And I was like, yep, I'll gladly take that, thank you. If these are working, they're worth a lot more money than if they're not working. A lot of times batteries will corrode in these things, and you just gotta sell them for parts. Um, but they still have really good value. If they're working, I mean, I'll throw some comps on the screen, but a lot of these will go between like, 60 to 90 dollars each and these are pretty clean and good condition this semi truck i think is pretty highly sought after i saw one sold comp for this thing around like 175 bucks so it's going to be a lot of fun playing with these and figuring out if they work or not but definitely keep an eye out for stompers guys some serious money in those i got a bunch of sports memorabilia at one sale i bought two big boxes for 20 dollars each and there were they were full of all kinds of random stuff this is like a yankee stadium an old yankee stadium replica Here's a uh, old program from the World Series from 83. Cincinnati Reds uh, card collectibles. I'm just going to keep that. We've got a really cool Yankee Stein. This thing is just awesome looking. It's got a bat for a handle. This is a Yankees watch. This is some kind of weird Ohio State magnet thing. VHS for the World Series. 61 and 76. Uh, both were Yankees versus Reds. I'm probably just keeping those. Uh, J. Cruz bobblehead. I guess he's like a Cyclones MC or something. Um, we got a Cincinnati Mighty Ducks figurine. Some Reds bobbleheads. Random baseball. And then the other box is down here. This was all um, Seattle Mariners stuff. Except for this. Kangaroo Free Jr. Uh, Cincinnati Reds starting the lineup. This is neat. Ichiro game used baseball. I thought that was different. It's got a little cutout from a baseball from Ichiro. We've got a Mariners jersey, Felix Hernandez bobblehead. It's pretty cool. We've got a Mariners hat, King Griffey Jr. hat, a towel, a shirt. There's like a trading card from 2010. 
Safeco Field, Pens, Felix Hernandez Train. <laughs> it's kind of neat. More cards and um, a uh, Mariner's Cooler. So I got all that for 20 bucks. I figured it was a pretty good deal. I might not be able to sell everything, but I'll probably just, you know, keep a couple of these pieces and maybe sell the rest and make my money back. And then last thing right here, this is a University of Cincinnati Danny Fortson jersey. This thing was so, so cool. There's the tags down here at the bottom. Coloring's faded a little bit, but it's not terrible. I paid 12 bucks for this and saw the same one sell for $100. Almost forgot, guys. I got this Sony TV. Uh, it's the Trinitron. These Trinitrons can have some really good value. This is model KV9PT50. It's a little one. It's maybe, I don't know, a 12, 13-inch TV. So it won't be terrible to ship, I don't think. It was really clean, didn't have the remote, unfortunately, but it was $2, and <laughs> I saw sold prices for these around like $100 to $150. It'd be worth more if I had the remote. Um, these have value because the colors on them for gaming are really good, so a lot of the vintage you know, game players like these TVs. They had another Trinitron that was bigger. I didn't see any soul comps, and I didn't know that I wanted to mess with it because of how big it was, and I think that this one is a little bit smaller, kind of helps add the value to it, because you can just stick it on a kitchen table or something and, you know, play Nintendo while you're eating breakfast. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.